Crystal Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. This is video number two of my Red Sea tank build series. Now, if you saw my previous video, you know some of the things that I was taking into consideration when it comes to deciding on different sizes of tanks that I might want, what kind of capacity that my house can withhold. And so in the past, I had a 20 gallon reef tank that I was looking to upgrade. Originally, I was thinking maybe I wanted to double it in size. Um, and potentially even go all the way up to a 65 gallon tank. But the more I got to thinking about things, the more I realized that, well, bigger can be better. Not only do you have more space for fish and corals, but larger volumes of water means that you're gonna be less likely to be prone to fluctuations in your water parameters, and things will tend to stay a lot more stable. Now, since I travel a lot and I go to a bunch of shows, Having tanks with stable water parameters is really important to me since I have someone else taking care of the tanks while I'm gone. So with that being said, the three different models of the Reefer G2 series, that's the one I'm going with, that I'm looking at are going to be the 300, which is a 65 gallon volume display tank, the 350, which is a 72 gallon volume display tank, and last but not least, the 425, which holds 91 gallons in the display tank. Now, I'm gonna go and take you through some of the different features that Red Sea has on their website to kind of help compare and help you to narrow down um, some of these things that I definitely used when I was making my decision on the tank. So let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so we are on the Red Sea website. You can do this on your phone or on a desktop, but all you have to do is go to redseafish.com. It might ask you for what country you're in, um, so select that, and then you're gonna be looking for the Reefer G2. Now look at this gorgeous aquarium. Now it's got a video that you can watch. We're not gonna click on that right now. You can go back and watch it if you'd like. Um, one of the different things you can see in this photo that there's a bunch of different pieces of equipment that are all tied into this. And one of the interesting things about the Reefer G2 systems is they have something called the Reef Beat. They're all compatible. So you can tie things into them like the wave pumps, dosers, lighting, all of that can be controlled using this app. Now I'm not gonna go into a bunch of detail on that right now, but look it up online or you can check out my future videos. Now, this next thing has the option for you to explore some of the different features. It goes over some of the things that are um, key when it comes to their tanks. Again, that's something that you can look through if you like. But what I really want you to see is which size it allows you to help pick things out. So they've got this online uh, step one, compare aquariums, which is what we want to do. Now you can try and figure out which tanks you're gonna use. If you don't know what tanks you're interested in, you can narrow down this red bar on the top and select for the space. I already know that I'm interested in the 300, the 350, and the 425. So I'm gonna go ahead, highlight all of those, and click to compare. Now it brings up this fantastic comparison to chart with all three of them. Obviously, if you look at the top, you can see visually what they look like but it gives you the system volumes of water from what the total volume is, and then it breaks it down from what's in the display and then what's in the sump. It also gives you the tank dimensions, um, and then it gives you the system dimensions, so that would be with the stand, the thickness of the glass, it gives you some information about the lighting, and one thing you should note is that it does not come with a return pump if you get one of these bundles. So it does tell you for each of these three models what the recommended gallon per hour flow rate is for each of these systems. So you can go ahead and order a pump or return pump that will fit with the system that you're gonna get. It gives you some stuff about the cabinet. It tells you a little bit about accessories and then it gives you prices. Now you can go ahead down to the um, design your reefer to create your own system. I'm gonna go back 
The next thing that I wanted to show you is the AR module. If you've ever played Pokemon Go, you're probably familiar with this. Basically, instead of a Pokemon popping into your office, you're gonna have a reef tank. So um, you can select any of the three models or any of the models you're looking to compare. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the 425 because that's the largest that I'm looking at. All right, check it out. You saw it, so this is the corner where I'm gonna get the tank to go. Now you can use your fingers to um, move it side to side, kind of like you would if you were um, moving a map around on your phone. I can see what this tank would look like in my office, um, right next to my desk and my other tank, and I think it's gonna be good. Now, if you want, you can always tap the screen again. You can snap a photo and save that. That way, if you want to compare a bunch of different tanks, you can do that. Okay, now that I have showed you some of those different features and those different tools that are available to you when it comes to making your decision, I gotta say the one thing that really kind of solidified my choice that I was gonna make is actually seeing one of these tanks in person. Now I happen to see one at Arifa Palooza, but if you go to redseafish.com backslash super dash store dash finder backslash, you can actually search for the stores near you that carry display models of the Red Sea tanks. This way you can go and visit and see in person what these tanks look like. Now, when I was at Reefa Palooza, there was the 65 gallon or the 300 that was on display and I was able to take a look at the cabinet with the sump. Now I mentioned before that I wanted to have a lot of space in that cabinet to make sure I didn't have a bunch of fish stuff cluttering my office and my fish room and Honestly, I have way too much stuff to fit in the 65. So I ended up selecting the 425 or the 91 gallon um, Reefer G2. So stay tuned. The next video is gonna be all about setting up the tank, the order, um, some of the different things that you need to make sure you do when you get your first tank. But I really wanna say thank you again to saltwateraquarium.com and to Red Sea for allowing this collaboration to happen. This has been Hillary for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.